good afternoon. See Jonathan's tail at half mast and his ears. He's doing his best to hold his he ears upwards. Look, he's putting them back. Oh, look, he's, he is tuning into something down there, trying to work out what it is. I don't know what it is. I can't see anything. But apparently, oh, Jonathan. Ah, I'm just starting to hear it now. There is a house alarm going off. <laughs> Isn't he cute and expressive, eh? So like, what is that? Right, we got a Hamish, that was obviously Jonathan, we got a Hamish there, we got a Wilfred here, we've got a wee Alfie at the back and a Lexi to heal, it feels weird saying it that way, Ro, come, come swap round, <laughs> that's all I can say, wee Alfie to heal, and Lexi normally lightning doing the zoomies, but, well, Hamish, what are you doing, someone always needs a poo when you make a video, <laughs> so uh, the most exciting I mean, is it's going to be an exciting adventure everyone is on top form very well behaved today it's no longer soaking wet in the fields the sun was out it baked it all nice it hamish you already had one you've had another one great <laughs> so the sun has come out and dried it off then it's gone away again so we can play an adventure without getting baked in it it was hot for a bit the most exciting start happened to this walk. As me and Rona were swapping over in the field, she had... <laughs> you want to play with him, do you? You think you want to play with him? We'll see how it goes. <laughs> uh, right, I need, I'm going to pause it so I can pick up that poo. Hold on. One poo picked up and a carry on of the story. So yes, Jonathan met Minion. Now Minion and Jonathan, apart from being different colours, different patterns, they look identical in terms of structure and just they, I mean they they are. They're just they're just different colours, but apart from that, they're identical. It was adorable. I didn't get film it because it was kind of hands full. I've known them um, that when I introduce Minion... <laughs> it's the blue barrel. Everybody loves the blue barrel. I'll tell you about the blue barrel afterwards. When we, uh, when we introduced Minion and John, they sniffed each other. They did exactly what I expected. They were like, we're the same thing. We are exactly the same thing. We are, we are both this type of sort of like wiry, fast, confident, staffy structure thing and as soon as they realized they were the same thing they just reared up in the air and basically bashed heads together like uh, like 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 two giraffes having a fight Gi giraffe uh, giraffes fight a lot with their necks that's, that's why giraffes have such long necks it's not to eat food it's to um it's to fight because um you know they're three times taller than other animals so actually like they only need to be twice as tall as the other animals to reach all the good food. The reason their necks are so long, the evolutionary advantage was to fight instead. They have a massive heavy limb that they can eat each other. But basically that's what, right, sorry. What, what is this wittering going on? Right, <laughs> so, I was telling you about giraffes. No, I was telling you about Jonathan. Jonathan and Minion just like kept bashing heads, doggy boxing, it required two hands. They were just so excited. They were just like, yes, you're me. <laughs> like, and they were, oh, it was adorable. And that is why Jonathan and Minion are out in the same groups together at the moment. We got to do those introductions slowly because we need to get past the bit where they accidentally might try and kill each other through overexcitement about how much they look like each other and how much they smell like each other and behave like each other. Adorable. Right, that was a long story about nothing. I'll see you later.